When global tensions flare, most investors run for cover, but only a select few seize the opportunity to make a fortune. While the world's attention is fixed on the Israel-Hamas crisis, another drama unfolds in the stock market. U.S. defense stocks are defying market norms with massive gains. It's not often that war and finance collide, but when they do, the results are always staggering. Today, we're delving into the heart of a $27 billion crisis with Hamas that sent shockwaves through the world. It's a story that reveals the staggering power of geopolitics on Wall Street and why it might just be the wind beneath the wings of the U.S. defense stocks. Stay tuned to unravel the financial mysteries of the Israel-Hamas conflict. In the midst of one of the most intense conflicts in recent history, the Israel-Hamas crisis has captured the world's attention. The crisis was triggered by a series of unprecedented Hamas attacks that resulted in over 1,400 casualties, sparking a massive and intense response from the Israeli military. These attacks were not just unprecedented in scale, they marked a new chapter in tactics. Israel had not faced adversaries in street battles on its own territory since the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. What's more, they had never before faced a terror attack of this magnitude, causing substantial civilian casualties. This conflict has been marked by relentless airstrikes, causing extensive damage to civilian infrastructure, including schools and mosques. The situation on the ground has led to a massive displacement of nearly one million Palestinians. Israel maintains that its strikes target Hamas, but accusations of using human shields have surfaced, raising concerns about the impact on Gaza's population. The toll stands at at least 7,028 Palestinians, including 2,913 minors and over 9,600 injured, an immense human cost. The geopolitical implications of this crisis are significant, and it's this uncertainty that has influenced financial markets. The surge in defense stocks can be attributed to the growing tensions in the region, making it essential to explore the connection between international conflicts and their impact on the financial world. Let's dive deeper into this complex relationship. As we've just seen, the Israel-Hamas conflict has ushered in an era of unprecedented tension and uncertainty. It's a situation that has left the world on edge and for good reason. But what's equally remarkable is how these international conflicts can send ripples across unexpected shores, shaping financial markets in the process. Major defense stocks, including industry giants like Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, General Dynamics, and other key players, have experienced an astonishing surge in the stock market. In just one day, these defense companies added a staggering $23 billion in market capitalization. This surge has left analysts and investors astounded, as it's not every day that we witness such rapid and substantial growth in the stock market. But what's driving this incredible momentum? The answer lies in the intricate dance between geopolitics and the financial world. The Israel-Hamas conflict, with its far-reaching consequences, has sent shockwaves through global markets, and the U.S. defense stocks have become the unexpected beneficiaries. In times of heightened international tensions, investors often seek refuge in industries that are perceived as safe bets. Defense stocks tend to fit that bill perfectly. It's no surprise that as the crisis in the Middle East intensifies, investors are flocking to these companies, hoping to secure their investments against the backdrop of uncertainty. What's also interesting to note is that the surge isn't limited to domestic investors. Both institutional and retail investors are buying into these defense giants, amplifying the effect. The iShares U.S. Aerospace and AMP Defense ETF, which tracks companies like Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, General Dynamics, and Northrop Grumman, has soared by about 7% since the initial attacks on Israel earlier this month. The momentum is undeniable, but what's even more intriguing is the anticipation among Wall Street titans. The Israel-Hamas war and the ongoing Ukraine conflict have prompted financial leaders to express concerns about the global threat environment and geopolitical situations. Some believe this might usher in an era of increased focus on national defense and security potentially boosting defense industry revenues in the coming years. So, while the surge in defense stocks is a reaction to the current crisis, it's also indicative of broader trends in the industry. The link between military conflicts and the financial market is a complex web, and in this case, it's the U.S. defense stocks that are soaring to new heights. But, as we've seen in the past, the markets can be fickle. Defense stocks often experience a surge following military conflicts, only to lose those gains shortly afterward. The big question remains, will this time be different? Can defense stocks maintain their current upward trajectory, or are we in for a similar pattern of gains and losses? The relationship between global conflicts and financial markets is intricate, with defense stocks experiencing a remarkable surge. This surge in defense stocks is closely tied to the growing geopolitical uncertainty. As the conflict in the Middle East continues to unfold, the question arises, how will this situation escalate and will it involve other nations, such as Iran, a traditional supporter of Hamas? The Middle East has long been a region of complex relationships and geopolitical tensions. The Israel-Hamas crisis is just one piece of the puzzle, and its implications ripple across borders. As Iran, Israel's regional rival, watches closely, the possibility of their involvement adds an extra layer of uncertainty to the situation. This is where the stock market comes into play. Investors, always seeking safe havens during times of uncertainty, turn their attention to defense stocks. 
These companies are seen as a hedge against instability, and that's precisely why their stock prices are surging. But what does this mean for the broader financial landscape, and is it sustainable in the long run? Before we delve into those questions, we want to hear from you, our viewers. Do you think the surge in defense stocks is a reaction to the current crisis, or do you believe more profound trends are at play? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit that like button to show your support. Analysts believe that if this conflict remains confined between Israel and Hamas, the effect on defense stocks should be minimal. Here's why. The surge in defense stocks is like a safety net for investors during uncertain times. But there's a key distinction to remember. In this case, the focus is on Israel's defense needs. It's about safeguarding the country and responding to an immediate threat. While defense companies might see increased demand for their products, it's mainly driven by the defending side, in this case, Israel. It doesn't mean supplying military equipment to those initiating the conflict. So, even though defense stocks are rising, it doesn't imply a significant shift in global defense dynamics. The defense industry will always experience fluctuations linked to geopolitical events. Here's where things get fascinating. Even though the initial surge in defense stocks might lose some momentum, there's a compelling case for their sustained strength. The ongoing crisis could bolster support for U.S. military spending, particularly for tactical ground warfare scenarios. This is where defense stocks play a pivotal role. When geopolitical tensions rise and conflicts erupt, governments often reevaluate their defense budgets. The current situation is no exception. The crisis has brought tactical ground warfare scenarios to the forefront, leading to the increased focus on developing more fighter aircraft, more missiles, more electronic warfare, radios, air defense systems, helicopters, and military vehicles. You get the picture. The interesting part is that many of these items were already in production before the crisis, so it might not lead to an immediate surge in sales or profits for defense contractors. However, as higher spending bills passed in recent years make their way through the income statements of these companies, the defense industry is likely to see an uptick in revenue in the coming years. This dynamic could be the very reason defense stocks maintain their strength. It's not just about the immediate reaction to a crisis, it's the long-term effects of heightened military spending. So, while the surge in defense stocks might not be a fleeting trend, it's part of a broader picture in the world of defense investments. We'll always find a compelling pattern when we examine historical instances like the Russian invasions of Afghanistan in 1979 and Ukraine in 2022. These conflicts did indeed lead to spikes in the U.S. defense stocks. However, the long-term performance of these stocks always varies significantly. In 1979, when the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan, the U.S. defense stocks initially outperformed the market. They experienced a surge during the first half of 1980, but as the year progressed, their performance started to lag behind the broader market. This historical example reminds us that the initial boost in defense stocks may not guarantee sustained growth. A more recent instance was the Russian invasion of Ukraine in 2022. The U.S. defense stocks did see an uptick, but they hadn't shown substantial movement leading up to the conflict. Lockheed Martin's shares, for instance, remained relatively steady before the crisis, similar to the trend of the S&P 500 over the same period. Northrop Grumman's shares had a slight increase. So, when we examine these historical events, we realize that while defense stocks can react positively to conflicts, they often experience fluctuations over the longer term. The impact of geopolitical events on the U.S. defense stocks is influenced by various factors, making it a complex and multifaceted relationship. But before we conclude, here's a fascinating tidbit. In just a matter of days, American defense contractor giants, including Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, L3 Harris, Raytheon, and General Dynamics, collectively witnessed their market capitalization soar from $23 billion to an astounding $28.4 billion since Friday. This $5 billion increase underscores the remarkable dynamics at play when global conflicts intersect with financial markets. It's difficult to predict how long this trend will continue. Will it rise indefinitely, or will it eventually fall as it has in the past? At present, the outcome is uncertain, but there are positive signs and things seem to be looking up. So, there you have it. In the face of the Israel-Hamas crisis, remember that the world of finance is dynamic and ever-evolving. It's essential to stay vigilant and informed. If you appreciated this deep dive into the topic, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. Thanks for tuning in and watch out for our next video right here.